Uh, from Kevin M0, Hi and welcome back to another Tip Minds video. Now this video was going to be made in a couple of weeks time, but after spending just five minutes with this receiver, I just had to let you guys know about it. Now this is the latest version of the Belker HF receiver, which covers 0.1 MHz up to 31 MHz and it's all mode. This is by far the best portable battery powered HF receiver I've ever used or had the pleasure to review. Now I know this is an extreme bold statement and it's just my opinion, but I've tested lots of different receivers, which although appear to work, they just don't have the receive capability compared to this Belka receiver. Now let's get into this review and first off, you'll notice the large LCD on the front, along with four soft touch push buttons. On the left end of the Belka, there's a USB charge port for the internal battery, which incidentally is reported to last a full 24 hours on a single charge. There's also a BNC connection for either connecting the included 75 centimeter telescopic antenna, or you can connect it to an outside antenna if using it at home. Now there's also a 3.5 millimeter socket, which is used for an extension speaker or headphones. Now on the other end, we find another 3.5 millimeter socket, which is an IQ output, which you can connect to the sound card input on your computer and then view and listen via an SDR application that accepts an IQ input. Now I'll show you this later in the video. There's also a rotary control, which also acts as a push button. This is used as a VFO and menu item selecting. Even this rotator encoder is as smooth as butter. It has such a high resolution, I just want to keep turning it as it feels so good. The Belka also includes an inbuilt speaker mounted on the rear with visible speaker holes in the chassis. Now the speaker sounds absolutely amazing. It has a nice crisp and clear sound, something which my microphone on my camera will just not do it justice. Now holding the power button for two seconds powers on the Belka and you'll be presented with a large frequency in the middle of the screen. Now this is the receive frequency the Belka is currently set to. The current mode of modulation is shown on the upper left corner. As shown here, it's currently set to upper sideband. The bottom of the screen shows a very responsive signal strength meter, which actually works really well. Volume is changed by pressing the volume button once and then turning the encoder. Press the volume button again, and then you can change the receiver's sensitivity. Now I only tested with the sensitivity set to high, but you can change this if you're receiving an extremely strong signal, a bit like an RF gain reduction control. Now pushing the rotary control in once allows you to select the tuning steps with a range from 10 Hertz up to 50 kilohertz. The MOD or modulation button allows you to change between the different supported modulations such as CW sideband, upper and lower, along with narrow FM and two AM modes. Pressing the mod button again allows you to also change the receive bandwidth of between two kilohertz and four kilohertz. The mem button allows you to store up to 36 different frequencies. The members also store the mode of modulation. As there is no band button to switch between specific handbands, you could also use the memories for each handband, so recalling each band could be done quite quickly. Alternatively, you can change the step to 50K and then quickly maneuver between bands. Incidentally, if you hold the encoder in while turning, this also activates a fast tune feature. The CW that you could hear now on 20 meters is actually using the 75 centimeter telescopic antenna connected directly to the Belka receiver while indoors. Now we'll take this outside later to see how well it performs outside as the Belka is actually designed to be portable and used outdoors. So let's connect my main HF antenna, which is an NFED half wave antenna for 80 through to 10. And let's take a listen around the bands. Uh, the audio, that's that little bit, uh, 
that body, so it's full of audio, so it should uh, should sort of give project you project your voice a little bit better thereby. So uh, yeah, that that is absolutely spot on now. The uh, the um, you know the, the ratio of the bass to the treble is is, is and the mix is absolutely fine now, Mike. So. Yeah, I did, I did call you back. Oh, uh, hey, real pleasure there, Jeff. Jeff, cheers and beers. Enjoy the rest of the day. And have a good evening uh, from Kevin. Mike Zero, Kilo, Victor Kilo. Bye-bye, Jeff. Bye-bye. Stop it, Seven threes. QRZ? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It is for me, you, you, Radi, Nicky, Dobardier. Lima, Zulu, Senam, Kilo, Papa. Sierra, Petiera, Zulu, Zulu. Segara, Elepsio. To trigger with your audio, but it it, uh, it uh, really doesn't uh, affect uh, your your readability, you know. But uh, great, uh, great, uh, um, great audio. You are loud and clear, you know, with a ton of Attention, plaisir. On va plutôt, on va plutôt dans les coins tranquilles avec où il y a surtout l'été où il y a des, des plages hein, qui arrivent. Tu sais que les gens ont de la peine arrivés de la plage de de oui de, de la plage. Zero zero forty five and five zero six you please give us live six and twenty five six two five. This little receiver has impressed the pants off me. For something so small and with just a short antenna when using it outside, this receives extremely well no matter what band is selected. Now if you noticed in a couple of the clips I was receiving a non-directional beacon, an NDB, right down near 200 kHz just with the small antenna attached. Now that's very impressive. Now one last thing to show and that's the IQ output feature with an audio cable connected between the IQ out port and my computer's sound card input I used SDR++ to capture the IQ and display on screen. Now what you'll hear now is SDR++ processing the IQ and playing through my PC speakers. You can tune around using the VFO on the Belka or click on the scope. Now the computer will not control the frequency of the Belka, but you do get roughly 48 GHz bandwidth to play with from the center frequency that's dialed in on the Belka. Now I tried changing the sample rate on my sound card up to 192 kHz, but we still only saw around 48 kHz. Yeah, roger, roger, roger. Nice to work you again. Thanks for the call, Peter. Uh, not as strong as you were last time I heard you work you as hell. I got a Germany 4. Germany 4 again, please. Well, there we go, guys. That's the Belka 4HF receiver. Now, I think this is a pretty decent product. 
I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to go and check one out. You can order them directly from the manufacturer. And shipping was actually rather quick. If you own this specific model or maybe one of the past previous versions, then let me know down below what you think of it. Or if you've got a similar product, which you think is just as good, let me know and I'll see if I can get one to try out. Till the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.